longtime Seattle Seahawks fan. He's repping Cincinnati because Bengals running back Joe Mixon has been showing Dequoth a lot of love online, so he's happy to wear those Bengals unis. Let's get to Noah Johnson, who is a big-time Eagles fan and a big-time money winner already at the tender age of 17. Abilities-wise, let's jump right in here and talk about young Noah Johnson. Hey, it's all about that Bo Jackson human joystick. He'll be able to maneuver him any way you possibly can. He's got that identifier with Alex Mack, but he's going to need that Frank Clark and that Troy P to get busy for him because with the cross offense, that's going to be really tough to stop. He's going to be in that Raiders offensive playbook, though. Run, 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 as everyone knows, and on defense, Green Bay Packers. Beecroft has already slayed a 17-year-old just to get this far. He took down Henry in miraculous walk-off style. He'll face another 17-year-old. Daniel Mycroft is only 19 years old, so he's a senior member of this group and the abilities. In my opinion, he's the hottest player out just for his unique style and how well he's executing except for one game versus Rage. He has this Aaron Rodgers with this escape artist, fearless identifier. But the, his only knock is with his wide receivers, yes, he has Slaughter Prentice for extra route running, but he doesn't have any ability on them to be able to really hang on to the ball in traffic. I love his center. He's going to have plenty of time, so look for Noah to try to blitz heavy. But you got to look for that inside stuff with Baker. He's going to really depend on him to blow up the run that Noah is going to be running on him. You mentioned the only loss for Decroft. He was up 14 nothing on Rage. On Rage. On Rage. On Rage. Yeah, that, that offense, you know, that Patriots is very unique. Decroft letting it get away against Rage. What a crazy game that was. He had a pick six from Derek Ward. He had a, or excuse me, from Denzel Ward. He had a 99 yard touchdown bomb, a 76 yard touchdown bomb. So many things going his way, yet he lost. And was not super shaken right. by that because he came right back to, to dominate and, and march forward. Exactly. And this is something he likes to do. He likes to see if he can... Noah used CJ2K to win the challenge not too long ago and actually ran with CJ very, very well. Ran 26 times with him, as a matter of fact, to beat Clef in that final. Yes, we don't very anticipate 26 run plays out of Decron. No, no, we don't. But that's a good point. Chris Johnson has won the last two belts. And if, you know, Decroft wins, that would be three in a row. It's interesting to watch Noah play defense. I was curious on how he's going to come out, either blitz heavy or try to run more coverage and just depend on that Troy P with that lurker ability to make a lot of plays for him. Now, Nathan, when Noah gets greedy, that's when Decroft's going to look to go over the top. Drini is obviously more balanced, but Decroft's a pretty balanced player too. And how about early Noah with that user hit stick? It's like we're back at the challenge. Rogers looking at Yeah, huge. But that was even a bigger play on defense. He sent that. If you guys want to know how to send a defender at the quarterback, hit that that R3 button down. For us here too. Almost like he's taunting Decroft. Like, you want this? <laughs> Come get this. I know we're trying to make it back to back belts. Something technically, my partner Michael. Yeah, that Bo Jackson's sick, and you saw on the punt, it was actually a bad punt by Decroft. Gave him good field position. Use check the fullback. Thick run defense, and it was all user skill. That's exactly what you would put out there off the top skin, Bo. What will Decroft do against a strong runner? So and if you missed it, Volterax, who was supposed to be Mr. Run Game, went for 30 yards total against Drini yesterday, just to pay off that point. Taking on one young player after another is Daniel Mycroft, and he's only 19, remember. He's played two 21-year-olds oh, wow. and two 17-year-olds. And you can stop the fake. You filled that at the 15 and probably get to the 25. Now he's pinned at the three. Order, a defensive struggle between the two teen titans. Market at the seven here on a second down and six. Again, Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback. That kills Decroft because he's such a big Seattle Seahawks fan. Rodgers has done him very well. Decroft always out of shotgun. Patriots playbook, so lots of gun you trips, which is not a popular thing, although. My partner, Mr. Skimbo, has made that kind of sing and dance for him in the past. Let's see what Aaron Rodgers can orchestrate here for Daniel Mycroft. 
$10,000 game. And that's a that's a wiggly fade that goes to the corner, uh, you know, to the sideline. So it's thrown away from that safety so he can't make a play. Not a lot of playbooks or formation have that route. And he, and he threw it in there. It was a complete dime. Tyree Kill slot to the left here on first and 10. He'll now motioning. <laughs> Similar to this first game of the day, Sporless is probably really going to commit to the pass. See how aggressive Decroft stays. Here, absolutely, this will be his red zone, his money play. This is what he laps all the time for. If you're a passer, you have to lap for this moment right here. Right here. The only way he throws it is if someone's wide open down the field. If not, he'll take a sack or just take a check down. There's no way he's going to throw this ball into coverage because his run defense looked awesome. <laughs> Always has that baby out route available, it seems. Let's see what he goes for here. He throw, I mean, that linebacker was right there. If he turns his head around and gets a good click on, it could have been picked. Where's the skill gap? Where's the skill gap? If you look at this tournament, who made it, those are all top players. And what are you going to say? Noah, where's he been? He's 17 years old. He couldn't compete. So what are you going to say? He's just, you know, a fluke. Yeah, but if you know anything about competitive Madden, you know D. Croft is a very good player and he has very good stick okay he he, he really came in showed that stop and go a couple years ago you know in the tournament head to head here i do and if you wouldn't know it now like i said the con we know and let's see if you can blow up this run good outside oh, bounce center alex mack and if he wants to run that golden ticket bow jackson He's got the, the firewall in front to make that happen. That little jab set by Bo, that's actually exactly what Noah did not want right there. He wants to cut straight up. He did it. He had negative passing yards in this tournament, but about 900 rushing yards in four games played. Now, he's a runner. He doesn't need to run the ball and try to run again, and then all of a sudden he clocks himself out and doesn't get any points. He needs to be very careful with these next two play calls. And he did. He's going to take it all the way down. I don't blame him. He wants to make sure he gets three points here. Battle of the teenagers looks like a battle of the field goals here. <clears throat> yeah, but he's actually had bad run stick today, Josh. It really hasn't been what we're used to. Like right there, he could have got out there a little better. I know he's trying to run at the defender, break his pursuit, and then bounce out. But he was a little slow doing it. And on, the, on his run, other running plays, his stick has honestly not been good. And this is the biggest game. I know he's won a belt, but you want to win this last belt more than anything. And then one of the biggest games of your career, he is having four run sticks. <laughs> Yeah, so far, it's looked very good, and now he's in a great spot. He he really needs to put a drive together. I mean, just do what you did last time. Take the underneath, but look for that defensive play in that game to set it up. So let's see if that's something to talk about. As we're at 3.17 to go third quarter, tied 3-3. Once again, Clef has already moved on, beat Little Man 13-10. Here comes that motion over Wiggly Fate going to the right side. Yeah, he got him. He got Tyreek Hill, and he zooms all the way downfield into the end zone. Touchdown, Decroft. Tyreek Hill had the go-ahead touchdown for Decroft against Wesley late in the game a week ago. Here's our Snickers replay. Boy, getting tackled, that's just a huge play. And like I said, Noah's going to have to adjust next time he gets on defense. But right now, you're down seven, and you need to score. Time for his Bo Jackson, a third and 12. You're still thinking Bo Jackson. It's not like he's got Michael Vick at quarterback. Come out and punt. I like the decision because if he doesn't get that, Decroft's in a great spot. That's a great job punting the ball. Name is Noah the Goon with about six or seven O's in the word Goon. That means he is wanting to bring it. For and I got to point this out, guys. A Rod's got Fearless activated. If you haven't played Madden 20, this is an ability. If he's under pressure, he'll be able to throw the ball in the money. That's actually cool to see. It's the first time I believe I've seen it all tournament. This is a big down. What dot does D Croft have to get a first down? In this current iteration of Madden, you put Power Specialist on Frank Clark, you are in business on defense. We've seen that all tournament. Third down, 16. Late stage is third quarter. Winner moving on to face Clef tomorrow. Semi-final action. Here comes the heat. Aaron Rodgers escape. A 70-yard touchdown to Tyreek Hill. Did he flash the peace sign on the way into the end zone? I didn't even see, but he got there for the only touchdown of the game so far. 17-year-old Noah. 
trying to get this ball downfield, and he's 65 yards out of airplane mode. And I think you're right. I, I think at some point there's one big escape for Bo Jackson. And that's really all Noah needs right now to tie this game. I feel for the most part, Decroft's run defense has been good, but Noah has just has struggled. And he does have plenty of time, but he needs to be careful because he might clock himself out. You you can, but you gotta do what he's doing by taking this clock under 10 seconds on the play clock. But like I said, you I actually let him go. I had something to say, but I wanted to see the bars he had, honestly. No way. No way. Does he really have something cooked up here? Is he just trying to draw him off sides? There is a flat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened, Josh, in Madden terms. He got lucky. He came out in the wrong play, and so he tried to get a false start going so he could get out and punt the ball before the two-minute warning. If for some reason he wouldn't have had a false start, that would have gone all the way to the two-minute warning and would have burnt one of his timeouts. That almost cost him big. And moving back five yards really shouldn't Let's matter. Go. Where are they going to put that punt oh. is the question. Oh, they're going to say it's a touchback. That was close. Yeah, it's interesting to see Decroft fu fully committing to a run right here. If it's an incomplete pass, the clock stops, okay? So, it, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. The whole playbook's open for him, though. It's moving on time for Decroft. He gets a first down here, game's over. This is the biggest play of the game. Hasn't leaned a lot on Chris Johnson to carry it since the first quarter. Here comes the heat, and down goes the run. Seven, Come on. Or you man. trust that defense as he should. He's gonna trust his defense, he's gonna punt the ball, and, and this is gonna be, can Noah get his run game going, or is Decroft? What was that punt? Decroft, who's a, a soccer goalie by trade, and part of being a soccer goalie is knowing how to get rid of the ball when, when it matters most. Look at this field position. 49-yard line in plus territory, and still 150 to go in a timeout. Get ready. He's going to quick snap. Two-minute warning. Come on! And Madden, if it's under two minutes, I said wrong. If it's under two minutes, they can quick... Needing 10 yards to keep it alive. The dream of back-to-back -back belts. It could all fizzle right here for young Noah. On deck, of course, is Clef the God. And there in the backfield is blown up! But that shit the sleep! But that runner shit the sleep! It's gonna but be that decoy. shit the sleep, Daniel! Come on! And we mentioned some of members getting ran all over, so you knew he was gonna come out here and have really, really high-level run defense. Noah's Bo Jackson, who went for 220 yards basically in the first quarter yesterday to move on. There was none of that today as Decroft shut him down tight. Noah is eliminated. I, I Decroft got, goes forward. And, and I gotta say it, coming to an end, today's semi or quarterfinals, passers two, the runners are zero right now. And it's a $10,000 win for Decroft. And to your